Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got two different topics for you. We're talking about Steam and also about Skyline. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with some pretty big news. Now, I would argue that the Steam Deck has really improved Linux gaming. You can disagree with me on that. That is absolutely fine. However, thanks to the Steam Deck, we've seen a really quick improvement with Proton. At a high level here, Proton is a translation layer that lets you play Windows games on Linux. And the Steam Deck, well, it's running Linux. Now, thanks to the recent improvements with Box86, it now supports Proton, which means you can now have Steam running on ARM devices. Now, to give you a quick rundown of Box86, Box86 is an emulator that lets you use x86 programs on an ARM device. There is also a Box64, letting you use X64 programs on an ARM device. This is currently for Linux. An ARM device on Linux would be something like the Raspberry Pi. A smartphone is also an ARM device, but we'll get to that in a minute. If you want to see this up in action, I've got you covered. I'll leave a link in the description below. There's an example here with someone playing Geometry Dash as well as Among Us. In fact, there is also a compatibility list, which I will link below as well. It's on GitHub and it shows what works and what doesn't. In terms of what will work here will be completely hit and miss based on your device. If you have a weaker ARM device, not a lot is going to work. If you have a more powerful device, more stuff is going to work. But I wouldn't really expect anything earth-shattering just yet. It's still pretty early on in development. And for those of you wondering about the Raspberry Pi, yes, this will work, but probably not that great for a couple of reasons. Number one, the Raspberry Pi CPU is not the strongest. And number two, Raspberry Pi graphics drivers are not the best. The compatibility really isn't there just yet. Hopefully this gets better, but only time will tell. Now, for those of you wondering about Android, because smartphones are ARM devices, as far as I know here, this solution doesn't currently work on Android. Doesn't currently, it does look extremely promising. As soon as I know more, you'll know more. Moving on now, and we're talking about the best Switch emulator on Android, and that would be Skyline. Another day, uh, another Skyline improvement. One of the testers who goes by Untouchable has Sukuna up and running at a whopping three frames a second. But if we take a look here, this is a 3D game. It's a little more demanding, arguably, than something like Sonic Mania. So to see progress like this is very, very good. And for those Pokemon fans, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is up and running. It is a little bit broken here, but it works. In fact, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee gets past the title screen and right into game. This is actual gameplay. It's running at 7 frames a second. There are a ton of graphical issues, but at the same time here, this is really impressive. As far as I know, this is only a development version of the emulator. It's not yet available to the public. But when the developers work out a few more bugs, you can test this out yourself. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Proton Box 86 and Steam on ARM devices or Skyline. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.